Hello and welcome, my name is Babs. This is my channel, Balance with Babs. Today's practice is a wrist-free healing hands yoga flow. So we will focus on core strength and relaxation throughout the body to release any aches and pains throughout the hands or upper extremities. So I hope that you enjoy it and come and meet me on your mat. Okay, so if you have a blanket, if you'd like to fold it up, you can start by sitting on the edge of the blanket, or if you have a bolster, that helps too, or a pillow. So we'll just come to a nice, easy seated position to start our practice. So close your eyes and just rest your hands in whatever position that feels best. So it can be in your lap, on your knees, either palms down or palms up. If you currently have a wrist injury, then maybe just cradle that side. And just settle down into your first practice together. So relaxing the shoulders. To become more aware and more mindful of where you are in space, your proprioception will tap into all of our senses. So first just start to feel where your body connects with the mat. So feel your bottom rooted down. Notice if your spine is slouching a little bit. See if you can grow tall through the spine. Imagining I'm pulling a little string from the crown of your head up towards the sky. Notice where your shoulders are in relation to your ears, so really drop them down. Notice if you're holding on to any tension in the hips, in the hands, in the feet, in the face. And then I'd like you all just to open your mouth and relax the jaw and just move the jaw side to side. So a big part of tension that we hold ends up being in areas that we aren't really aware of. So oftentimes our jaw is one area that we're constantly clenching. So just open the mouth and just kind of let the jaw just relax. Maybe move the tongue around. So this is our sense of where our body is in space. And then we can blink open the eyes if they were closed. Then I'd like you just to look around the room. So check out the kitchen, check out what's going on in the room, check out the colors. So this is our ocular motor, our eye muscle relaxation technique. So just becoming aware of what's in the room. Can you see the textures of the floor, of the walls? And then looking over the left shoulder, stretching the neck, then looking up at the ceiling and over towards the right side of the room. So looking up, up, up as you lift the chin up and over, and then looking over the shoulder. And then come back to neutral. And then we're gonna place our hands, our palms together and then just gently rub the hands together. So this is our sense of touch. So how does your hands feel? Maybe go on the back sides of the hands one at a time. Just getting some sensation, some relaxation into the hands. If it's painful, just go a little bit gentler. And then maybe just rubbing the arms, so both sides of the arms, just getting some sensation in the arms. So when I was in OT school, a lot of it was getting pressure, deep pressure over large surface areas was a huge thing to ground yourself. So feeling stimulating the arms, the hands, just helps you to become more present. And then come to the thighs, same thing, just gentle rub of the thighs, maybe a little pat if that feels good, maybe onto the shins. 
on the knees, giving the knees some circles. So just getting your body aware of where it is. It's also a really good way to stimulate your parasympathetic nervous system, your rest and digest of just acknowledging your body and then come to your stomach, hands onto the stomach and then just gentle circles going up the right side, down the left side. So a lot of our nervous system starts right here in our stomach. So if we can relax the digestion, if we can help to reduce some of that bloating, that stuck energy, this will help our mind to be at ease. So you come up the right side, across and down. So this stimulates the ascending, transverse, and descending colon. So just do a couple more circles here. Maybe soften the eyes, soften the face. And then relax your hands back into your lap, close your eyes again, and notice if you feel any different. Do you feel a little bit more present in this moment? Is your mind still racing, thinking, what are we doing? That's okay. By the end of this program, you'll feel better in your mind and in your body. You'll start to heal from the inside out. And sometimes that hand or whatever pain you're experiencing can be alleviated by reducing tension in other parts of the body. So let's just relax the shoulders down, take a big breath in through the nose, and sigh out through the mouth. And then let's bring our arms out to the sides of us, and we'll inhale, reach the arms up towards the sky. Look up, gaze up, imagine you're holding onto a big beach ball up overhead. Maybe imagine you're up at the beach and then take that ball and you're just gonna throw it forward and relax the arms. Inhale, lift the arms, grab that be big beach ball up overhead, gaze forward and throw that ball forward. Three more times, inhale, lift. Exhale, <sighs> inhale, lift. Exhale, <sighs> last one here. Wonderful, and then let's bring the shoulders up towards the ears, back and around. So swimming the arms around, freeing the face of any tension, maybe scrunch up the face for a moment and then relax the face. So you're just getting big shoulder opening here. Notice the chest expanding as you move. And then inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands come down through heart center. Pause for a moment. The body heavy on the mat. Take a breath in and out. And then let's set an intention for this practice. So I'll allow you to choose whatever you feel like you need. A little bit more strength, self-love, confidence courage, healing, take that word and then place both hands over your heart, one on top of the other, seal that word in. And then place the hands down into the lap. We'll begin gentle neck circles. So slowly dropping ear to shoulder, chin to chest, other ear to other shoulder, head falls back, and we'll take about five times in one direction and then five in the other. Notice as you bring one ear to the shoulder, the stretch in the front of the neck, and then as you come down, the stretch in the back of the neck. Does one side feel a little bit tighter than the other? Can you just pause there, take a breath, and then continue? And then reverse the circle. So a big part of this program and, about, and a big part of these classes is really letting yourself be the guide of your own practice. So I'll 
give you the poses, I'll give you the instructions, but if something feels good, stay there, take a breath, enjoy it. If something doesn't feel good, move on, let it go. So really it's up to you to do whatever you want. I would never get mad if you wanna stay for an extra breath or two. And then come back to center. Let's take our right shoulder up towards the sky and then our left. So just getting a little bit more movement here, alternating the shoulders. Getting a little bit of trunk rotation as you do this. Few more times. Maybe looking over the shoulder that you're rolling. And then hands to the thighs. Bring one hand forward as you bring the other back. So a gentle spinal twist. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. Moving nice and slowly. Notice the belly expand as you breathe in. And exhale, twisting. And then back to center, hands onto the knees. Giving your knees a little bit of a gentle circle, massaging the thumbs here on the knees. And then we're gonna take the feet and switch the cross of the legs for just a few more moments of our seated practice and then we'll get moving a little bit more. So we're gonna start seated cat and cow. So hands to the thighs, you're gonna inhale, draw the chin and the chest forward, leading with the chin, and then exhale round, bring your chin towards your chest. Inhale, swimming your way forward. Exhaling, rounding and contracting. Five more at your own pace. So really feel the movements of the spine. Making sure to continually breathe throughout the practice. A few more. And then coming back to center, let's inhale, lift up our right arm. And then exhale, you're just gonna gently hinge over, keeping that hip really rooted down, stretching over. Gentle pressure with the, light, with the left hand. And then slowly just melt the fingers down as you lift the left arm up and over. And then just melting, wiggling those fingers all the way down. One more time each side. We're gonna take three breaths on each side. Maybe this time see if you can open up your chest to look underneath that armpit up at the sky, keeping both hips rooted down. One more breath in and out, let it release. Other side, three breaths. Open the chest, the heart. And then come on back down. Inhale, sweep the arms forward. Thumbs up towards the sky. And then inhale, open the chest as you bring the arms by your sides. Exhale, gentle hug. Bring the hands to opposite shoulders. Inhale, big breath in, spread open. 
Exhale, contract. Inhale, lift. Exhale. Three more. Building core strength as you exhale, contract, curling in, puffing up the back. Last two, big breath in. Exhale, let it all out. Last one, open as wide as possible, spread the fingers. And then exhale. And then hands to the knees, close your eyes, settle down for one moment. Can you sense a little bit of stress relief just melting away from your body from just a little bit of breath work and movement? You soften your eyebrows and your forehead. Take a breath in and out. Great, blink open the eyes. So we're gonna make our way down onto our back and we're gonna do a really good gentle core workout and hip opening portion of the practice. So as slowly and as gently as you can, you're gonna make your way onto your back. So it's helpful sometimes to start with the feet down in front of you, and then you can take your hands onto the thigh to kind of give yourself a little bit of help assistance to come down. Or another option, if the wrists and hands are bothering you, is to come down onto the elbows first and then slowly down onto the back. Let's bend the knees so that the feet are planted onto the mat. Bring the feet as wide as the mat so the feet are wider than hip distance. Hands can be on the abdomen or by your sides, whatever is more comfortable. And we're gonna gently knock the right knee in as the left knee comes out. And then switch. So we're just windshield wipering the legs side to side. So as you bring the right knee in, you feel the stretch on the right side of the body. And as the left knee comes in, stretch on the left side. So just alternating here. Maybe allow the head, the back of the head to rock side to side on the mat as a little gentle reminder that you're grounded down. Keeping up with the breath. Notice if one hip feels a little bit tighter or looser than the other. And then the next time both knees go over towards the left, you're gonna take the left heel to the outside of that right thigh, so outside of the right knee. And you're gonna use the heel to pull that leg down. A nice IT band lateral hip stretch on the right side. Take three breaths here. And then slowly coming back up, knocking the knees side to side one more time and then allowing the knees to fall to the right. Right foot comes to the outside of the left thigh and that heel draws it over so you feel a nice stretch on the outside of that left thigh. Three breaths. And then back to center, knocking knees to left, knees to right. And then come back to center. Bring the feet, now hip distance apart. So bring the heels in close to the bottom. Root the feet down, so already put pressure into the feet. Hands come to the mat, palms facing down. No pressure in the hands. We're gonna really use the core here. So draw the feet down as you inhale, lift the belly up towards the sky. 
keeping the head still, the neck still, gaze is up towards the ceiling. Use the strength of your inner thighs, your glutes, your cores to bring you up. Take one more breath in. Exhale as slow as you can. Use the whole exhale to bring you all the way down. We're going to do that four more times with the use of our arms too. So as you begin your next inhale, you're going to lift your hips and you're going to also lift your arms all the way up past your ears. And then as you exhale, slowly let the hips come down. And then you're going to draw your chin and your chest up. So now your upper back is off the mat and your hands are by your thighs. So feeling the core engagement. And then your next breath in, you're going to reach the arms back behind you, lift the hips up. Exhale, slowly vertebra by vertebra comes down as the arms come forward, lifting up, staying here, strengthening three more times at your own pace. So inhale, arms lift overhead, hips lift up. Exhale, the slower you go, the more contraction, the more strength you'll build. See if you can lift up your hips a little bit higher. Exhale, lift your chest up a little bit higher. Last one here, breath in. And breath out. Stay here now with the arms by the thighs. Relax the neck, relax the shoulder, just using that center core breath in here. And out, two more breaths here. You got it, breath in and out. One more breath in and out. And then slowly melting the upper body down. Palms come to our abdomen. Soles of the feet come together as the knees fall apart to recline the butterfly. Settle down. Allow the breath to reconnect, allowing gravity to open up the hips. Take a rest here, relax the heart rate. One more breath in, let it go. And then arms come by your sides, palms facing down again. Tuck the chin in slightly so the back of your neck is longer. Draw the thighs back together. And then we're gonna lift the legs so that they're parallel to the ground. So the knees are bent, shins are parallel to the earth. And now feel underneath, is there a little space underneath your back? Try to eliminate that space by tucking the pelvis under and you're going to really contract the belly. So if you, have a huge space back here then you're really relying on the low back so we want to engage the abdomen so draw the low back down root it down into the mat so you fire up the core so you might just even feel it right here so we'll stay here for a few breaths really focusing on allowing that space to be completely gone keeping the legs lifted here just breathing One more breath in and out. And then we'll start to straighten the legs up towards the sky. It's okay if the knees stay bent a little bit. And then bring the toes towards your face. So you're really engaging the feet. Feel the stretch in the calves. Gaze is up, neck is just nice and neutral. Again, try to hollow out that or reduce that space down in your low back. So engaging this mula bandha, it's our root, our core, our abdomen, firing it up. Let's take three more breaths here. This is an active legs up, but you can also do this with the legs up against the wall if you want a passive lymphatic drainage pose that also helps to reduce stress and anxiety. 
but here actively building strength. Take one more breath in and out. And now point the toes up towards the sky. So really feel the toes pointing up. Try to touch the ceiling with the toes. And then exhale, bring the toes towards your face. Two more times, point the toes. And then bring the toes towards the face. Keeping that low back push down. Inhale, point the toes. Exhale, flex them back. And then stay here. Keep the right leg right where it is. Engage the belly. And then slowly allow the left leg to slowly come down so that it hovers over the mat. Breath in, slowly bring it back to meet the right leg. Breath out, slowly right leg comes down, hovers over, and then gently comes back up. We're gonna do that three more times on each side. So breath in here, exhale as slow as you can, that left leg comes down, breath in, it lifts back up, and on the exhale, the right leg goes down, inhale, right leg lifts up, if you want, you can change the position of the feet. So keeping the feet flexed, the toes coming back. And then as you come up, point the toes as it lifts all the way back up for a different sensation. Remembering to breathe, point the toe, inhale, lifting back up. One more time, each side, you got it. Breath in, exhale, the foot comes down. Breath in as it lifts back up. Exhale as the foot comes down. This is our last side. Point the toe, inhale, lift it up. Exhale, bend the knees, plant the feet down, keeping the feet together, bringing the arms out to a T, out to your side, and then just allow the knees to knock side to side. Knees are together now. Moving the trunk a little bit, the neck side to side, just letting that all go. Just feeling good, rocking on the spine. And then coming back to center, hands come back by your sides. Bring the heels in towards the bottom knees hip distance apart and we're going to inhale to lift that right leg up towards the sky we're going to roll the ankle around so a few times one way and a few times the other and then bring that heel to the top of that left thigh so arms can be wherever you choose right on the belly or by your sides and with that heel on the thigh i want you to really energetically push the right knee away from you. So if it's snuggled in like this, really try to engage the outer right thigh to pull that knee away. You'll feel the right hip stretch, just breathing here. So just in this moment, feel what's happening. So it's our modified figure four. If you want a little extra challenge, bring that left heel towards your bottom a little bit more. Push down through the left foot and you're going to inhale to lift the hips up, keeping that right foot on the left thigh. So it's a little bit deeper of an outer right hip stretch, getting that glute to fire up. Take two more breaths here, breath in and out, breath in and out and slowly lower down, extend the right leg up to the sky last time and then release it down. We'll take one bridge just to realign the hips in between. So take a breath in to lift the hips up. Exhale, slowly roll all the way down as the left leg slowly starts to come up towards the sky. Point the toe, roll the ankle. And 
And then as you're ready, left heel comes to right thigh. Root the right foot down, flex the left toes back. And then imagine someone's pulling that left thigh away from you towards the left side of the room. No tension in the arms, they can just be nice and relaxed. The shoulders, the neck, the chest. Breathe here. Reduce that space in the low back to fire up the core. And then your next breath in, bring the right heel towards your bottom, push the foot down, lift the hips up. Try to get both hips in alignment. Make sure that that left hip is not falling too far down. Try to really lift up through both glutes using the lower abdomen here. Neck is just nice and relaxed pulling that left knee away from you. Breath in and out. One more breath in, get a little bit higher. And then slowly lower down, extending the left leg up towards the sky and then melting it back down. Let's open up our feet as wide as the mat and then just allow knees to knock in towards one another, a little gentle release for the low back. And let's reach our arms up towards the sky. And then if it feels okay, we'll do a gentle roll of the wrists. So this is a great way to allow gravity to reduce the fluid in our hands by reaching the hands up. And then the gentle movement of the muscle pump helps to reduce that inflammation in our joints. So maybe do a little bit of movement with the fingers, gentle wrist movement, just whatever feels right for you right now. And then hands to the low belly, take a breath in, feel the belly expand into the fingers. And then sigh it out here. <sighs> One more breath in. And out. <sighs> and then we'll very carefully start to extend our legs long. Relaxing our arms by our sides, letting the shoulders melt away for our final relaxation pose. softening your face if the low back is uncomfortable here you can slide a blanket or a pillow underneath the knees allow the shoulders to open up your chest by melting them down and back Palms are facing up as a symbol of just surrendering down, allowing all good energy, good healing, positivity, circle throughout your entire body. As you breathe in, imagine your front body filling with air. And as you breathe out, Imagine your back body filling with air. Inhale, I fill my front body. Exhale, fill the back body. See if you can relax the legs a little bit more. See if you can relax the arms a little bit more. Relax the hips, the shoulders, the back of the head. And then let's place our hands over our heart to come back to that intention that you created at the beginning of the practice. What was that one word that you wanted to create?
create more of in your mind and your body. Take a breath in for it really to surrender and surround your whole body. Exhale, let it go. And then gently start to wiggle the fingers, wiggle the toes. And then we'll reach our arms up overhead, point the toes, big body yawn, big stretch. And then gently we'll lay on one side for another moment. And then using that bottom elbow and shoulder to push you all the way up into a seated position where we began our class. Keeping the eyes nice and closed. Hands gently placed in the lap or on the knees. Notice how you feel right now. release any last bit of tension that you've been holding on to. You deserve to feel better, to release stress, and have a wonderful day ahead of you. Let's inhale, reach our arms up for the last time together. Palms come together and thumbs meet our third eye chakra, connecting mind to body. And then thumbs meet our heart chakra, connecting to our heart. And we can bow to one another to share our gratitude for one another and for our continued healing. Namaste.